Hello everybody and welcome to this new tutorial of OpenFoam. Today we're gonna work together on the uh, diffusion of contaminants using the, the solvers color transport foam. So we're gonna see a pits daily case. We're gonna run the simulation for a pits daily case. Then uh, we will insert or we will inject the contaminants uh, inside the domain and we will track its diffusion in the geometry so this is the idea of this tutorial so we have uh, two kinds of uh, diffusion of uh, assignment of the the, uh, the scalar the contaminant and we will see uh, this in detail so let's start we have at first our case bits daily so I'll run uh, a terminal so I'm using open form 8 I'll go to tutorial then run it's daily just to show you where you can find uh, the test case so it's here I'm working on this test case incompressible piece of form LUS it's daily so you can uh, copy this folder to your uh, own folder then follow with me all the steps so uh, here we have okay I closed this terminal then I open a new one here so I run our form to show you the geometry of the pits daily so this is the geometry or oh, this is the generated mesh or the pits daily here we have our inlet its velocity inlet and here is the outlet so uh, as a first step we're gonna run a simulation using a piece of form and using turbulence uh, model L of LES so here in the folder zero, you can find, you can look at the uh, boundary condition of the inlet, outlet, the upper, lower wall, and front and back. Anyway, the pressure and also the uh, uh, the parameters of turbulence. And here in constant. Here we have simulation type LES then all the parameters that go with this kind of uh, turbulence modeling. Also here in, in uh, the transport model it's Newtonian and here we have viscosity of air 1 uh, 10 minus 5 uh, meter cube uh, per second. So I'm going really quickly on the pits daily case because this is not the aim of our uh, tutorial and then system here we have our solver piezo form then the start time and the end time so what we need to do we're gonna run the simulation so here we'll find the all run file with all the command uh, all the commands that you need to run in your case so uh, starting with block mesh block mesh is to generate to generate this mesh then the second command is the run uh, application then running the solver which is piece of foam so after doing this you will have these folders of your simulation so i already have the solution so i'll just run it for example here for the uh, for the velocity okay I changed the color to jet apply close okay then here we can follow the evolution of velocity in our pits daily geometry Okay, now that we have our case, we have the velocity at time equal to uh, 0 
then uh, for example here in that time for example i'm supposing that i'm gonna inject a tracer or a contaminant then i want to uh, to track its concentration uh, the evolution of the concentration with time so what we need to do we have two uh, options we can assign a concentration in as a boundary condition for example uh, telling that in the inlet i have a constant concentration equal to one of my contaminant or i can for example uh, set the concentration of the tracer in a specified uh, surface or volume in my geometry as an initial condition then it's gonna uh, be updated uh, with the simulation so these are the two options that we have so for the first option so i start with the boundary condition i have already results but i'm gonna delete all the folders in order to show you how to do for this so uh, what you need to do is to create create your folder then here we have the zero constant and system folders for the zero folder we have two, uh, two files u file so for this u file i'm gonna delete it and we have the uh, t t file t it reflects in the solver scalar transport form the concentration of the tracer so we're gonna open it for example here i have i am assigning uh, the value of a fixed va a fixed value uh, of one in the inlet boundary of my geometry i keep a tracer concentration the tracer concentration equal to one in the inlet so this is the idea of the first option then here we need to put uh, u file the velocity file and we're gonna take it from here the last from the last folder of our simulation so here we have the results of velocity you can open it and here you can see that for each cell or node i have a velocity coordinate of velocity so i'll copy this file copy and then i'll put it here in the zero folder so uh, just to uh, just to clarify the idea of the scalar transport form it doesn't uh, solve the equation of velocity it takes the velocity of uh, your simulation and keep it then uh, calculate how the tracer gonna uh, how the concentration of the tracer gonna evaluate uh, depending on your velocity so hope it's clear then here in constant you have your mesh to put here then the transport properties are defining the diffusion uh, coefficient equal to 0 0.01 then here in system we have control dict scalar transport form this is the solver and here are defining probes so we are choosing here uh, seven probes where uh, we gonna save the concentration of uh, the tracer over time so this is the setup of the uh, the test case it's very simple so just open in terminal then here we have already the mesh and i need to launch scalar transport form okay so i can run power form to see the evolution of the tracer concentration so apply here and here the concentration you can see that i have a concentration equal to one in the inlet i 
I change the color? Then how how it uh, changes over time? So here you can you can see that here we have time, uh, and here we have the concentration of t at each uh, point. So for example, you can uh, choose your probe from here. You can do a filter, search, probe location. Then for example, uh, so here you can change the coordinates. Coordinates of your probe. And you can find uh, the the according uh, tracer concentration and also the velocity. So uh, this is how to do it in uh, Paraview. But the the best option is to do it in in uh, using OpenFORM itself. So here we have a created folder, new folder, which is post processing. When open this, when opening this uh, folder, we're gonna find uh, the probing. So here are our probes from zero to six, and for each time we have the concentration of the tracer. So if we need to track the evolution of the tracer over each probe, and also pl plot it uh, in Excel using Excel or using Python. So this is the first option, as I uh, told you, the first option was to have uh, the inlet concentration of the tracer equal to 1. So now the second option is to have uh, a concentration, for example here. So in order to do uh, this, I created a second folder. I delete all the results. I delete the results here. So, uh, what we need to do is so this is the original tracer so we have zero gradient of all uh, in all the boundary conditions so we don't we don't generate a concentration of the tracer in the boundary condition but instead so I copy this and I name it T I'm keeping this file just for a uh, recovery to recover my files later so here in system i have an extra file called set fields dict so uh, what i'm defining here i'm defining a box okay and in this uh, box i'm defining that the uh, concentration of the contaminant is equal to one and in the outer domain is equal to zero So for the same idea, I am uh, copying uh, the velocity velocity file results here in the zero folder. Then here I have this uh, initial containing the initial and the boundary conditions, and the extra file, as I told you, is here in the system set fields. Okay. So I'll run a uh, set fields. Initial condition. Then here I'll run set fields. Okay, it's done. Then here in para foam apply the tracer T. 
and here you can see that I have a concentration equal to 1 in this zone so this is the zone I, I defined here by these coordinates by these coordinates so for the z value it goes from uh, this value to this value so I'm majoriting uh, by my from minus one to one just to make sure that I'm covering all the volume in the z direction then for the other uh, I'll show the grid okay so this is x from 0 0.01 to 0 0.04 uh, the y from minus 0 0.01 to 0 0.01 and the z as i told you i'm uh, taking uh, bigger values to make sure that i am covering all uh, the volume in the z direction so now we have uh, this uh, zone uh, fill, filled with the, the contaminants so now uh, our setup is ready just to uh, we need to run our simulation scalar form so uh, also here in the control list so we are setting uh, our probes in order to track the tracer concentration over time i'll run the simulation scalar transport form okay so i'll start with post processing the same thing here so the same idea, this uh, the the seven seven probes, and each probe is tracked over time. So now let's run our form and see. Okay, apply tracer, and here you can uh, see the evolution of the tracer. Or the contaminant uh, concentration over time. Okay, so this is how it changes over time. So these are the options of uh, the diffusion of a tracer in geometry. Hope it's clear. So thank you for watching and see you in next video.